Right, so today's video wasn't intended. Um, this has come from a post from Facebook, actually. Um, and it's to do with Scarborough. Scarborough and surrounding areas have bring, are brought in um, no overnight parking again. And um, I keep seeing posts. Now, this is not just with Scarborough. This is like all over the place. The no overnights in Dorset, um, Cornwall, Devon. Everywhere you go throughout the country, there's no overnight parking signs going up all over the place. And one thing that really bugs me, like, I mean, this is like, it really bugs me, is that I keep seeing people saying, um, why don't the councils charge 10, 15, 20 pound a night and we'll all be happy? Right. Let me explain something to you guys. Now, I, I think this is coming from a lot of the weekend guys because full-timers can't afford to pay 10, 15 pound a night. We won't be happy. If I'm speaking for full-timers now. We will not be happy, okay? So we're not all gonna be happy. Weekend people with motorhomes or camper vans will be happy. People that can probably afford to go and stay, uh, stay on a campsite overnight. So right, I'm being really blunt now and I support all camper vans, all motorhomers, whatever. As long as you're decent people, I'll support you and say like, fair enough. But if you can afford to go pay 10, 15 pound a night to park every weekend, fair fair play to you, you're doing all right. But maybe you could afford to pay a bit more and go to a campsite. Right, so the issue is not gonna be solved. If you pay 10, 15 pound a night, right, I'm being straight to the point here. If you pay 10, 15 pound a night, the issue is not solved. Get this through your heads. And yet, yeah, I'm being really blunt. You need to accept that the issue here for the locals is that you're taking up all the parking spaces. Dog walkers turning up six o'clock in the morning to walk their dogs can't park. So you giving them, the, the local council that is, you giving the local council 10, 15 pound a night does not solve their problem, the locals' problem. And it's the locals who are complaining. Issue number two, right, so first of all, you've taken up all the parking spaces with your multiple motorhomes. Issue number two is that you don't spend money in the surrounding area. Giving £10, £15 to the council does not support local business. It does not go back into the business really, does it? It goes into the council's bucket of wasted money. The locals want to see you in their local shops buying t-shirts, shoes, knickknacks, sticks of rock, burgers, sandwiches, calves. That's where you want to... When I go out, if I, if I go to visit a town, I go to a local calf um, because that's the people that need your support. I go buy tea, drinks, sandwiches, a dinner, lunch, whatever. I go to a, a small local calf, one... Probably not the most expensive looking one, to be honest. I go to one that looks like they could do with a bit of business. These are the people that are complaining. These are the people that want your money, that need your money, not want it, need it. The local businesses, not the council. Lastly, it is um, toilet waste. You're paying 10, 15 pound a night. You've still not got no toilet waste facilities you still got the issue of dumping your crap all over the place. The problem is not solved. So it's not about giving the council 10, 15 pound a night. And that is where you really need to get this through your heads. Um, that is what's frustrating me. And a lot of people that own motorhomes, camper vans, you're not stupid. You've got to understand this. If you go park 10, 15 vans in a line, bumper to bumper, what do you expect is going to happen? People are going to complain. The, the simple solution is that you don't park there. You don't park behind another van. Go park half a mile down the road. Go park somewhere else. That is the that is the solution. If you want to stop this no overnight parking crap that's going on at the moment, because councils, government are anti-car. They're anti-camper van. They're anti-us. They do not want people on the road. The electric car fanatics... This is what it's become now. This has become a money-making scheme for local councils. This is not about keeping the locals happy. To keep the locals happy, don't park there. Go somewhere else. Go to a campsite. That's simple. If you are going to park there, 
don't park behind other vans park out the way somewhere else where there's cars or whatever else on a side street park there go to the shops let them know that you're in the motor home down the road because let's be honest even if you went to a local shop and you spend 10 15 100 pound they don't know whether you're from a car or a camper van unless you've got like this t-shirt saying i'm a motor home owner and i've come to spend in your town which is stupid they ain't going to know whether you're a local or moving to the area or just passing through so they don't know that you're the van owner um that's the other issue you've got so yeah simple solution to this problem is that do not park your van behind another van park it somewhere else go to a campsite if you can afford to go to the area go to a campsite it's not about 10 pound a night to keep the council happy it's about keeping the locals happy local businesses happy and paying the council will not cut it there you go solution fixed so if you've watched this video you've got a camper van share it with someone else that's got a camper van because i want to get this message across i want this stop the the overnight parking bans i want it i want it to, to finish as much as you guys do so share the video to other people let's get this message out there to other people as well and uh, let's all just stop parking near other vans and we'll solve the problem okay cheers for that sorry about the moan but it needed to be said